So, David, we last spoke back in 2022 at the Global Forum on Nicotine in Warsaw, Poland. At GFN, the nicotine consumer is top of mind. Why is that important? Well, for various reasons. I mean, part of it is for anybody who's actually interested in reducing the carnage of cigarette smoking. We need to understand what's going on. We need to be curious. Uh, we can't just dictate things that we might like to believe. And a key part of this is understanding the, the people who are using the product. And this is just basic public health. I mean, if you're actually doing public health, you try to understand people's lived experience, you meet them where they are, and you empower them to make better decisions about their health. I mean, it's pretty simple. And you, you deal with people as consumers, as people who can act on information, respect their agency, tre treat them as, as human beings. It is absolutely crucial that we try, we keep the common sense, we keep the evidence in the public eye. And that's what conferences like this do. They, they provide us with platforms to talk about the actual evidence um, around um, tobacco harm reduction and around nicotine replacement therapies. I think also it's about um, people who vape themselves, uh, you know, being able to see that they're not alone and that there is a community out there and that what they're doing is not um, unscrupulous, is that it actually is about their own health and it reaffirms the decisions that they made to give up smoking um, and use the tool of vaping or any uh, you know nicotine any other nicotine replacement therapies and that, that that was the right that was that was a decision that that many other people have made yes i'm i'm planning to um participate and watch many different sessions about a wide range of subjects i'm also looking forward to the conversations i'll be able to have with with scientists, advocates, consumers, and other experts about many different aspects of tobacco harm reduction, some of which um, may be things that, that I'm guilty of overlooking. Um, so I always, I always learn a lot and I'm looking forward to that. This uh, conference is so inclusive. It really is global. I think a lot of things talk about being global, but actually they're probably a little bit first world. And this is when you look around, when you see where people have come from, and when you see where the scholars are coming from they are coming from the countries where um you know vaping is not allowed often and um, where it's the, you know they don't have that equipment that material so they're looking to develop this in order to quit smoking so i've been coming to gfn for the last six years and it has been really crucial to my uh, journey into developing into tobacco harm reduction uh, and I welcome everyone and everyone should make it a point to be there if you're interested in tobacco harm reduction and to meet people from diverse fields, from scientists, advocates, to people also from the industry for those who are interested. Llevo 10 años visitando el GFN en Varsovia. El GFN es para mí la conferencia más importante del mundo sobre nicotina y políticas de nicotina. A mí me ha aportado gran parte de todo mi bagaje, gran parte de todas mis conexiones en el mundo de la reducción de daños por tabaquismo. Si estás en el mundo de la nicotina es una cita obligada todos los años porque es en el GFN donde realmente todos aprendemos, todos interactuamos. En serio, el GFN es un must todos los años para si, si quieres ser alguien en el mundo de la nicotina.